My name is Steve. Um, since we're hiring you by consensus, who here, I'm talking about recall, who here would be willing to sign a contract say, stating that if sufficient numbers of your constituents uh, decided you weren't doing a good job and weren't voting for us rather than party along party lines, who would be willing to sign a contract with the constituents that we could remove you at, uh, with sufficient um, numbers? There. Since we started hearing this question, we'll start at the far end of that question. If you're directing, are you directing that to a specific individual, we can roll that there. Okay, so we'll start with Ronnie. Uh, in terms of consensus voting, I mean, this is really why the Green Party wants to have proportional representation, because that's what builds consensus in this country. Uh, it would make no sense of us individually to agree to that, and that is a government wide consensus to sign that document. So, yes. This is why I'm working for this party, because we need proportional representation, and it's all about consensus. I can answer that a little bit differently. Uh, I just can answer that a bit differently. I've never heard that before, and uh, I've approached running for Parliament as a job interviewer. In fact, I think I have a lot of qualifications to lead us through to the change. And so, when I'm working in my career, that's a daily occurrence for me to be thinking about. We always need to be not, not just delivering, but over delivering, meeting expectations and achieving and super achieving expectations. So that, that's something that I'm interested in personally in making that pledge, but I'm not living up to your or your mm -hmm. expectations, that you have some recourse on me. However, the juxtaposition of that is the enormous expense of a by-election. We saw it in the voting. An on-purpose by-election happened last year so that John could come in and, and be re-elected versus elected with the rest of us. And that's an enormous expense to taxpayers. So I would ask the taxpayers to, to weigh that decision. I accept recourse. I accept responsibility and accountability. In fact, I want you to hold me to that because that's what this is. It's a job we're doing for us, for you. Thank you. Um, we've talked about uh, working for everyone. And, and whoever becomes the MP here, once the election is over, partisanship ends, right? You have to work for everyone. And, and um, to answer the question specifically, would you sign a contract to that end? Without further information, I wouldn't, just because I, I don't think that's even legal. Um, our system doesn't support that. I think, in principle, changing the system so that's a, that's a feature, uh, some, some sort of recall legislation, I'd be all for that. Uh, maybe doing it personally, I don't think it would be a, a very wise idea. Um, the other thing is that the, there are certain things that you agree with your party on. CHP is not a whipped party, so there's, there's differences of opinion there. Um, the constituents' wishes come before the party policy, but there are some issues on which I, my conscience would need to come first. For instance, if the majority of my constituents wanted me to implement physician-assisted dying, I could not in good conscience vote for that. So there are a few issues that my personal conscience would trump for the rest of the constituents over the party circle. Okay. Not, not signing a contract, but I have heard of people trying to get a petition to get somebody out. And so, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that might be a better way for people to voice their opinions. And if a lot of people signed a petition wanting me out, I think I would feel under pressure and I think I would resign. I know where you're going with this in principle. Uh, I'd certainly have to look at this contract before I signed it, um, but I understand what you're trying to say. And uh, you know, I've talked about representation throughout uh, this evening. And, uh, you know, you are my friends and neighbors. Uh, I grew up out here. I would think you would hold me accountable. Uh, it's, if it got to that point uh, where personally, not just on party issues, that personally, uh, a majority of the people in, in this riding didn't feel I was doing the job, and uh, they had a petition or something that would ask me to step down. Uh, I would step down uh, if, if it got to that point and I knew I didn't have the confidence of, of the electorate anymore. Um, I couldn't in good conscience uh, remain. Um, I, I just want to touch on this really briefly as well. Uh, I know Rumi brought it up the other night and, and Allison brought it up tonight. Uh, to think that Mr. Menzies retired halfway through his, bi his, ter his last term just like so put re-election on my signs, re-election on all of my signs is really disingenuous. And, uh, I think that's a, a hit below the belt so I don't think uh, we have that up here tonight, and I'm disappointed that both of you would say.